to be like tag team nursing and we're supposed to be helping the ICU nurses. Hey, what's breaking up everyone? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine and I make all types of lifestyle videos. So don't forget to follow me on my social media at Jazz the Nurse, and I'm gonna link it right over here for you all. 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. So this isn't my normal routine, but I do have similar habits that are formed um, when I am working. Um, so if you're probably wondering, like Jasmine, you went from night shift to mid shift to morning shift. This isn't my normal shift. Um, I'm helping today in the ICU. Um, as you all have probably realized, we're in this pandemic and it's pushed a lot of the California um, ratios, essentially out of ratio. So uh, what I do is I help to be like tag team nursing and we're supposed to be helping the ICU nurses so that essentially if they get a third patient that they're not technically out of ratio because if you don't know, ICU nurses do not have CNAs or techs. And they're supposed to do, um, I didn't know they had, they didn't have a monitor tech either. I don't know, I didn't realize that when I was on rotation, but, well I guess I did because they did make me do the strips myself. But I kind of forgot about it because we have a monitor tech, which I'm like really grateful for because I don't know what I would, what I would do without my monitor tech <laughs> because I'm not really good with EKGs. I feel like because of that, um, I've gotten even worse at it because of the fact that I rely on them so much, but that's besides the point. Anyway, today I wanted to film a what I eat in a day video because I've seen these trends so much on YouTube and I thought it would just be interesting to see. I am not gonna lie, I have been trying to cut my portions for a while, so I don't necessarily, I usually intermittent fast, so I will eat at noon and I will try and eat until um, 8 p.m. and that's the time slot I usually try to do but because I usually work twos I usually eat around 1 and then I end around like um, 9 so it's usually how it goes for me because, just based on breaks and everything so yeah I have my lunch pack today um, I'm trying to go to the gym after if you're wondering why I'm not wearing my scrubs, it's because we change into the scrubs that they give us there because we're dealing with a lot of COVID patients. And then, yeah, that's pretty much that. Hopefully this person wasn't watching me film. Anyway, I am gonna start getting ready in a few minutes. Um, I have my typical routine where I use my essential oils to channel and push away my chaotic energy so I use this one from Walmart it's a calming sleep one I should probably change it because of the fact that I'm not supposed to be sleeping and then I use 
this chapstick, which is the Carmex. I really like that one. And then I really need to lotion up because I've been getting paper cuts after paper cuts because I'm sanitizing so often that it's making my skin super dry. But yeah. I usually will try and go in around 6.50, but I might go in a little bit earlier because the ICU is on the other side and I'm at the ER entrance and I still need to change. See you guys probably at lunchtime. around 136 right now we have a few more hours to go we're off at 7:30 so it's going by fast today I feel like it's more so I don't know the first time I did it, it felt like it was going so slow but today it's going by fast but it's a good change of pace from uh, um, the ER. It is definitely a lot slower, but it's just way more meticulous. Like you chart a lot more. There's like a lot more speaking with like different physicians and I think it's really interesting for me because a lot of my patients are actually from the ER, at least in the COVID unit. Like two out of six of them I've actually hardest patients which I thought was crazy but yeah I couldn't believe it so I have a few more minutes I'm just gonna get on FaceTime with Alex finish some of these watermelons and then after work I want to go to the gym so I'll probably go home around like 8 30 then I think the gym's only open till 9 so 8 30 shower I don't know if I'll, pro I'll probably end up trying to eat like a little bit of something and then I'll probably end up going to sleep <laughs> Probably gonna eat this real quick and then go back in. But these are so good. They're not that bad for you, they're like 110 calories. We have like two more hours to go.
yes, I did work out in my Crocs. I just got finished with the gym. It was a pretty good workout, pretty lengthy workout, I might add. I worked out for, I think it said 47 minutes, and that's pretty good for me. I did like 10 minutes of abs, like 20 minutes of cardio, and then um, some hit, and it felt pretty good. Um, it wasn't a super intense work day, that's why I had a lengthier workout. Normally I would just try and do like 30 minutes and just call it a day. But I was feeling it a little bit today, so I was just like, why not? But overall, today was a really good day. Um, it was kind of a sad day. It's crazy to see so many of my, oh my god, my eye is also swollen, I don't know why. I think I need to stop wearing eyeliner. Um, but it's crazy to see that there's so many patients that were my patients who I transferred to telemetry floors end up in ICU. And it's like all the COVID patients because of the fact that they just deteriorate so fast. And it makes me so sad. Um, yeah, because I didn't, I don't remember a patient. I think she went off to like telemetry and then I had her on Monday and today is Saturday and she's in the ICU now, which is like crazy fast. But anyway, I'm going to go eat dinner right now. It's around, um, 8.45, I am gonna shower, because I really do need to shower, and then I am gonna go and eat something, because I am actually pretty hungry now. I wasn't hungry when I got off, surprisingly. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Future Jasmine here editing and I realized I didn't end this vlog but I ended up going to sleep right after that. I slept around 10.30 I believe because I had work at 7 in the morning the next day and that is pretty much it. I honestly feel like it varies day by day depending on how my day plays out. I can be hungrier most days because of the fact that I have more walking, especially in the ER. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I typically eat in a day in the life of a 12 hour shift. I hope you guys enjoyed and thumbs up this video if you want me to do more videos like this. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at Jasmine Nurse. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.